This is Denise Chua with the Channel 3 News Update. It's big, it's sweet, and it's red. Volunteers are serving the world's biggest strawberry shortcake. Hundreds of people stood in line along Main Street to get their slice. Mayor Bill Dalton and Senator Lou Carrere were there to serve the crowd. Councilwoman Dina Wynn was there with her newest bundle of joy. Some of the parade's special celebrity guests were on hand, including the young and the restless star Kate Linder and parade grand marshals Rico Rodriguez and his sister Rainey. And then this year they called and asked if, if we would love to be grand marshals. And I was like, me, strawberries, perfect. I'm really involved with charity, so being here, it's, it's really great. Christina Robinson from the TV show Dexter gets a pie in her face at the Ooey Gooey Pie Eating Contest. It's a brand new event at the Strawberry Festival and it's all for a good cause. She got crazy. <laughs> this pie thrower took a long wind up before he made his toss. Turns out target Gabby Sadowski didn't have much to worry about. Oh, no, it tastes good. That's always a plus. <laughs> Every year, one of the highlights of the Strawberry Festival is the Strawberry Ball, where two community volunteers are honored with the title of Strawberry Festival King and Queen. This year's king is Jerry Margolin, who has volunteered with the Kiwanis Club, Garden Grove Elks, the Strawberry Festival, and the Miss Garden Grove Scholarship Pageant, among others. I look at what they tell me I've done and I go, my God, I don't even know I did all that because it, to me it's not a big deal. It's just. I'm enjoying it. And this year's queen is Arla Donahue, who volunteers with the H. Lewis Lake Senior Center and has been part of the volunteers and policing program with the Garden Grove Police Department. It just keeps me busy. And besides, I like to help people. The Strawberry Ball just kicks off the fun and games here in Garden Grove. The carnival rides take place all weekend. And there's also the Tiny Tots contest. These adorable little boys and girls, aged three to six, strutted their stuff on stage for the judges. Two winners were chosen from each age group, and the big prize is the Tiny Tots King and Queen, who get to ride in the Strawberry Festival Parade. This year's Tiny Tots King was... Jacob Huntington! Good looks must run in the family. Jacob's aunt was Tiny Tots Queen about 20 years ago. How's it feel? Excellent! And his queen was your Belinda resident, Lewis Henson, who told us she was surprised but happy to win. Now she's going to celebrate. I'm getting a um, strawberry shortcake and I'm going to go on some rides. This is Denise Chua with the Channel 3 News Update.